Welcome back to another episode of At Your Doorstep. This one's another special one for our Freight Waves Live at Home event. I'm your host, Kaylee Nix, and we're going to get started today talking to someone from Deep Cognition, a little bit about where artificial intelligence fits into the logistics world. Before we get started, though, we've got another great giveaway to follow up our last live session with, and today we're giving away a pair of AirPod Pros to kick off the session. Our AirPod Pros are going to our drum roll, Rachel Doerr from General Mills. Congrats, Rachel. And hopefully you can listen to some of these awesome Freight Waves podcasts using your brand new pair of AirPod Pros. Like we said, we are going to be talking a little bit about artificial intelligence and how it can automate some tedious processes that happen on the back office side of things in the logistics industry. And to do that, we're talking to Kate Curtin today from Deep Cognition. She's out in Texas. Kate, thank you so much for joining us today on At Your Doorstep and on Freight Waves Live at Home. Yes, thank you so much for having me. We're very happy to be here today. So something that is really tedious and kind of bogs down people all the time is back office data entry, paperwork, really those medial tasks that aren't necessarily super fun to do. But at Deep Cognition, you guys are trying to work around that and make it more of an automated, seamless process. Talk to me about what Deep Cognition is and how you guys are trying to do that. Absolutely. So Deep Cognition primarily is a artificial intelligence company, right? So we started out with developing what's called Deep Learning Studio, which really was our uh, ability to allow users to create deep learning modules. Now, how that really relates to the logistics industry is we have created what's called paper entry that allows for companies to digitize their documents. So whether it's a packing list, a BOL, commercial invoices, um, we allow them to directly extract that structured information from their documents and then have it automatically integrated into their CMS or ERP system. And so we hear that word a lot when we talk about tech, freight tech, is digitization, right? And it's all, it's kind of a big buzzword right now. It's like getting into the digital sphere. You guys use artificial intelligence. And we also use a program with artificial intelligence to kind of I guess you would say caption our videos that we put out. Talk to me a little bit about how your system works specifically to get all of that data off paper and into the digital world. Yeah, so like I said, Deep Cognition started as a AI company. So the really unique thing about our software is that it's deep learning based. So we've created a state-of-the-art solution that allows for us to extract that really difficult information that sometimes some of the other software providers aren't able to because it is deep learning based, right? So when you start getting into those really complicated commercial invoices, BOLs, where you're having to extract line items and items that are embedded within tables, we're able to use deep learning and natural language processing to extract that information. Uh, the other really unique thing about our technology is that we use retraining and we also have the ability to validate. So if a customer has a new client coming into base or if they're having new document structures that they're bringing into their business operations, we can easily train on that data set with maybe three to five documents and then they have the option to, to validate that information. So again, they're always going to get that 99.9% that .9 accuracy once it goes into the TMS system. Which is kind of amazing, and then you can really use that as a resource as being like, hey, we can make this so speedy, and we can get all of this done in a really, really quick and efficient manner, which, of course, saves time, tracks more customers, saves money. Talk to me a little bit about that journey, how you guys went from this deep learning AI into realizing we could do this, and we can make this efficient and marketable to the logistics industry. How did you guys get from point A to point B? Yeah, so we had companies approaching us that were looking for, you know, how can I adopt AI into my company to be more efficient? And that's really where paper entry shone through because it had the ability to have, you know, a really low startup and almost an immediate ROI. So for some of those companies who really want to adopt AI to their business operations, but maybe were skeptical about the startup cost or about the return on investment, that's the really unique thing about adopting something like this into business is that, you know, typically businesses are up and running within two to three weeks, right? So within the first meeting to going into, you know, actually going into production, it's two to three weeks. And then again, there's no startup cost. So I think that's really where we showed through with that there wasn't this reluctancy to adopting AI and to going ahead and, you know, establishing these efficiencies into business. 
And so for people who are maybe a little bit skeptical when it comes to adopting this new technology or they think my business isn't big enough or doesn't have enough paperwork or qualifications to need this kind of technology. Talk to me about if you guys are a fit for all size companies, large to small, is it easy for those employees to get trained and to start using the software? Yeah, so we typically work through our partners. So it's really easy to train and get integrated. So out of the box, we're gonna go ahead and integrate you know, into your typical TMS systems. Uh, the other really unique thing about us, again, is that it doesn't require a lot of training so if a company has four suppliers, if they have 3,000 suppliers, it doesn't take a lot of documents to, to actually train on that data set. Um, the other really unique thing is that we charge only for per document process. So again, we can work with those small customers, and we can also work with those really large customers, and we empower them to do the validation. So it's really quick and simple, a drag and drop. Um, you don't have to be you know, really technical background to be able to integrate this into your operations. So for the last year, of course, the pandemic has always been on everybody's minds and it's still continuing to be here as kind of this like ever looming background presence for us. Did the COVID-19 pandemic have any effect on what you guys did or did it lead to more people adopting these back office paper entry procedures to kind of save time, save money and maybe not need so many people on their floor? Yeah, absolutely. So we've really seen a need to optimize the resources that companies are currently having and not having to, you know, go in and maybe add in more employees. So really the benefit is that adopting paper entry reduces your cost by up to 90%, right? So really these companies are seeing resources that can be redistributed, can be dedicated to more customer facing uh, jobs. The other really unique thing I think we're seeing from the pandemic is that, you know, this allows for companies to quickly and easily start a new process to get up and running without being skeptical, again, of high startup fees. So I think we've seen people really wanting to optimize the amount of money that they're dedicating to, you know, their business and really becoming more efficient as, as, as quickly as possible. So going forward into the future of AI, sometimes people can get a little bit skeptical and afraid that if you adopt these machine learning processes, then I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to have a job to give to somebody else. Do you see AI being any type of threat to taking away those jobs for people? Or is it kind of that supplementary procedure of like, hey, you can still have this job, but now you'll have the freedom to do other things because you're not necessarily having to worry about all of these tedious back office procedures. I think AI, as you know, we become more comfortable with it, AI every day is growing. There's more algorithms that are coming out and it's able to do more unique things, make business decisions, really dive into those analytics. Um, however, paper entry really focuses on using your current resources and making you more efficient again. So yes, for some companies, it may seem that, you know, they do reduce the amount of employees dedicated to actually doing the data entry side of things. But a lot of our companies are seeing that this really frees them up for the ability to dedicate resources to other, you know, areas in their business that really could use the assistance. Um, you know, again, maybe it's customer facing, maybe it's getting in front of the, you know, the freight forwarders talking to them, and it's really giving them the ability to, you know, optimize where they're dedicating the, you know, their monetary value. And while we're talking about looking towards the future, what's coming up next for you guys over there at Deep Cognition? Anything awesome that y'all are working on, getting ready to deploy? Yeah, absolutely. So I don't want to give any you know secrets away, but over the you know the next couple of months, you'll definitely see um, deep cognition coming more to light with more modules, more documents we can process. Um, going into you know the warehouse side of things, also giving companies the option to not only automate their data entry for BOLs and packing lists, but other documents that are out there that they want to digitize. And so for folks who maybe are watching this interview and are like, wow, I could absolutely use this technology and it sounds like something that's right up my alley, where should they go? Can they request a demo on Deep Cognition and to kind of figure out what you guys are doing? Yeah, absolutely. So they definitely can reach out to us through our website. It's deepcognition.ai. They can also contact us directly through the Freight Waves um, direct portal as well. And of course, you're on LinkedIn as well. Deep Cognition is on LinkedIn. People are maybe a little bit more social media savvy. Do you guys have any social media that y'all can follow too? Absolutely. Follow us on LinkedIn. We're always posting new things and new resources as well as new products that we're coming out with. Awesome. And maybe we can give away a little bit of a secret there on LinkedIn too. Thank you so much for joining us today, Kate. We were really excited to have you on At Your Doorstep.
Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. And now we're going to finish up this last special episode of At Your Doorstep with yet another giveaway. And this time we've got an Apple Watch to give away. And our winner for this one is going to be Alexander Olson from Carrier Net Financial. Thank you guys to everybody who registered for our live event and won some of our awesome prizes. We've got another short block coming up after this to round out our Freight Waves Live at Home event. And then make sure that you are getting in those last comments on our live feed as well. Thanks for joining me today on At Your Doorstep and have a great day.